because we were selling to cash and carries, and we said, look, we're selling to cash and carries, and they're making a market. Why don't we open our own first cash and carry? Which we did. It was a very small premises, I think maybe about 500 uh, square foot. And uh, so we started uh, selling radios, watches. And in those days, actually, there was the a big boom on uh, CB radios. And we'd already had CB. Um, I don't know what it's, it's, it's sort of community broadcast it's called. Mm. It's like, it's very big in America. I think ki- kids these days probably wouldn't know what CBs were. You know, I don't they know, probably don't know what CDs are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know what CBs and yet? Um, I have to admit, no, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so CBs were, you know, one one four one four for a copy, uh, one four for a copy. Yeah. yeah, so these truckers actually use it a lot in in America. Uh-huh. So it was very big here. It was suddenly like before the mobile phones, and you could talk to people free of charge, and you know you could be talking to anybody up and down the country. You know, so that's what it was, and uh, basically it's like ham, ra- ham radio, but uh-huh. it was CB. Yeah, there was, and people have them in the car while you're driving. You can talk to people on the motorway, things like that. And uh, because I had one, and my brother also had one, we knew about this, and it was a bit, bit of a boom. Mm. So not many of the wholesalers knew what these were, and we were one of the first to get into that and wholesale. And there was a lot of shops opened up selling CB products, and so we were ahead of them on that. And because of that, then they would buy other things as well. 